guys um today we are going to learn how to do a year-to-year -year comparison in tableau what i mean basically is we are going to learn how to compare some months the same months in two different years um what i mean is you compare january 2019 to january 2020 you compare February 2019 to February 2020, and we want to basically be able to chart these months for these two different years side by side for us to be able to see any trends if there are any. Okay, so um, the first thing that um, we have to do is to have our data set. Yeah, so I came up with this small data set um, with just random um, revenue sales. And as you can see, the way that I lay out my data is very important to how it is going to come out on the visualization. Um, I have, you know, broken down the year by months. Um, for 2019 and 2020. So do this for um, however many number of months that you want and have you know yourselves there as well as a field. The next thing that we are going to do is to you know have um, our data in Tableau. So I have already imported my sales data set into tableau for those of you who do not know how to do this make sure you watch my previous videos um but basically you just have to you know go and connect to um, whatever data source that you have there's many options you know there is um to files to servers and you know whatever so i connected to excel so um i have already pulled it in as a, and as you can see it's all looking good um, the next thing that we are going to do is to um, go ahead and start creating our visualization. We are going to drag the month's dimension onto columns and it will show you the January, February, um, you know, March, uh, ETC, um, the months that you have in your data set. The next thing that we want to do is to um, drag the year onto um, you know, the columns peel. However, the year, as you can see, is a continuous dimension. So we need to change it to, um, to a discrete before we do that. So after we change it, we drag it onto the columns as well. And um, as you can see, it's starting to come together. You're starting to see January broken down, you know, by the two different years, um, April, May, uh, you know. So the final thing that we're going to do is to drag the measure that we want to visualize onto the rows. Um, and there we go. So we have a very nice bar chart here and it's starting to you know come together however we cannot you know know which is okay we can know which is you know 2019 2020 but we want to be able to make it more clear to um the user and what we are going to do is to grab this here and drag it onto the color you know just to make it cleaner and to make it neater and as you can see, we have um, the years differentiated by color, and every month um, is, you know, being displayed um, alongside the next, you know, the similar month for two different years. So that is how we do it. Um, it's very simple. Um, yeah, make sure you um, like my video and don't forget to subscribe.